Hey folks, in this video, I'll be talking about Cap Theorem and the Mirage of Cap Theorem is the title of the video. So without any further delay, let's get started. So Mirage the, uh, the Mirage of Cap Theorem or basically Cap Theorem first was introduced by Dr. Eric Brewer. Um, this notion of Cap Theorem is quite essential to understand any distributed data store. So basically, a cap theorem says that we can either have consistency, partition tolerance, or availability. We cannot have all three. So let's understand what these terms are and what is the reality between uh, the words of C, A, and P, that's cap. <clears throat> So consistency in uh, that the C of the cap theorem actually refers to linearizability. It means that if two requests are not concurrent, then the new request to the DB must see the data that is as latest as the previous request, which means let's say me and another guy sitting here, this guy X. So I and X request the database concurrently. Okay and oh sorry not concurrently and if this guy gets access to the database first then i should be able to see the data returned from the database as latest as this guy okay if we are not requesting at the same time but with a little delay then there should not be a stale data which i am getting back now this is true when the database is actually distributed so Take an example where data store is at multiple continents. So somebody is requesting from US, somebody is requesting from India, the Mumbai server, somebody is requesting the, you know, Arizona server, somebody is requesting the Australia server. And if no one is requesting at the same time, all of them must see latest data. So uh, let's say the guy A who is requesting the Arizona server request first and the guy B uh, sitting in Australia request second, like just a millisecond difference. So B guy who is requesting after the Arizona guy should be able to see the data as latest as this guy. So no, he should not be able to see the data or the store of the database, which is older than the state which this guy got. So that is what we mean uh, by consistency here. It is different from what is there in ACID. So if the database is ACID compliant, so C in ACID is different uh, in as compared to C in CAP there. So that's one point. The second point is availability, which means that every request received by a database returns a response. So there are no requests which, you know, which goes without a response or gets killed or timed out, something like that. Whenever there is a request, there has to be a non-error response back. Partition tolerance, partition tolerance meaning, let's say there are three databases distributed across the world, across the continents. One is in US, one is in you know, Europe, one is in Australia, one is in Antarctica, one is in India. Now, all these databases, even if one or two or you know, less than the majority of the database, if they go down, the database should still work, right? So they should be partition tolerant. Now, Brewer, who uh, introduced the notion of cap theorem, argued that this three things are actually misleading because we cannot ever trade the third thing, that is the partition tolerance. We cannot ever trade this in order to achieve this thing. There, like, if a database is just CA, it means nothing because the database is actually not fault tolerant. It will, uh, the system is not allowed to lose arbitrary amount of messages between the nodes. If there is a, even a loss of message, that whole database crashes, right? So we don't want that. Partition tolerance can never be traded off. A system can select between consistency, availability. Partition tolerance should always be present, okay? So that is, uh, the basic, the fundamentals of cap theorem. Now, when we start to write a cap, or uh, when we start to rely on a cap theorem to analyze a distributed data store, we have to understand that in order to uh, make a distributed data store 
we need to comply with exact definition of consistency and availability if we want to apply cap theorem on our system which means that if there is there is a data store which is not uh, linear linearizable which which let's say follow some different type of notion which has a different meaning of availability in that case we cannot use cap theorem to analyze a distributed data store that is one thing and we also have to understand that the world is gray and so are distributed systems so according to cap theorem a uh, system shouldn't be available because a system is cp that is consistent and high has high partition tolerance however if a system is if we have if we want to have a reliable database which is a cp property but that database is not available is the database even useful will you be able to use that database at all actually availability is sacrificed only when there is a failure related to network partition you still want to offer consistency over availability so let's say partition tolerance actually occurs you want the database to still function and uh, ha still have consistency preferred over availability okay so if there are let's say servers are failing here and there you want the that data store to be consistent if you have chosen cp that's consistent and partition tolerance then you want to maintain consistency when partition tolerance is actually happening so there is in if everything is going fine you want to have a system which is also available right the notion of cap theorem will be applicable only when partition tolerance is actually happening so that's one key thing which you want to understand all right and then i also talk a lot about consistency and <clears throat> different stuff so in order uh, in the context of cap theorem consistency refers to linearizability as i said it is a guarantee that a uh, single that whenever you do any operation it touches one object now this is another issue in cap theorem that it does not talk about transactions it does not talk about operations that touches multiple objects consistency talks about ordering it means that if operation 2 occurs after operation 1 then operation 2 must see the system in the state as it was on the completion of operation 1 right linear system this guarantee is actually quite expensive to provide and it is also very hard to test whether the system is actually following consistency so there is a fun fact that cpus which we use in our computer systems are actually not linearizable they uh, if we include memory barrier instruction so there is a great article you can i have attached it here you can read if you want to i can discuss it in some other talk or uh, some other video and this article i will also put it in the description below this is my newsletter feel free to subscribe it now coming back a lot of modern data stores let's say postgres actually provide serializability instead of linearizability they do not offer consistency they offer serializability so if they offer serializability we don't we cannot actually analyze postgres with the notion of cap theorem because the definition has changed they do not offer consistency they do, they offer serializability uh mongodb also says that consistency is broken by design right consistency guarantees both local and global um states if we want to have that guarantee it is actually very expensive very hard to provide so usually most of the systems let's say uh any distributed data store be it cassandra or you know any uh, cloud data stores all those data so databases are actually con eventually consistent so over the period of time they will become consistent and that's uh, not what cap theorem says cap theorem says consistency meaning it has to be consistent at all point in times globally and as well as locally so availability mongodb emphasizes on durability more than availability because there are limits to availability in the context of sla service level agreements the term availability describes a continuum instead of a binary condition 100% availability is generally regarded as unrealistic cap consistent systems that is cp systems might be unavailable for some time due to network partition or another tons of failures which happens in distributed systems that cap theorem does not address by the way but that is true for all the systems even cap available ones 
gap available systems might be down for all kinds of predictable as well as unpredictable reasons and obviously like there can be multiple stuff your system is actually available at odd points in time but you do not have a uh, deployment system in such a way that whenever you upgrade the system it goes down for some moment now if that goes down it is not 100% available and that will say uh, that will mean that your system is actually not cap available all right so the cpca mirage so uh, i hope that up to now you are following my arguments and you agree with me on the fact that cap consistent or cap available systems do not have a clear distinction dr brewer said this about google spanner that the database is technically cp cap consistent but the network outrages are so rare that it is effectively ca right because it is a database every the uh, let's say you have your own data store and inside the data store locally you are using that as a database and the uh, every everything is on the lan inside the data center so the network partitions will be so so rare that you actually will uh, have a mirage that the system is ca cap available rather than cap consistent or cp right it is just whenever a network partition actually happens system chooses consistency over availability additionally spanner uses two phase commits to achieve serializability but it uses true time for external consistency consistent reads without locking and consistent snapshot i have also attached reference here the more we strictly use cap theorem to analyze distributed systems the more the real mirage or the distinction becomes um, the the more the the, uh, the mirage becomes more distinct right the road to designing distributed system is full of trade offs the problem with cap theorem is that it narrowly focuses on a single type of failure that is network partitions however there can be multiple types of outages that can happen which in a distributed system which the cap theorem misses for example human error reprovisioning can you can your distributed data store be reprovisioned without having any downtime right so bitcoin is a unique technology that can be both cp and ap so parting thoughts most distributed systems work well without perfect availability or consistency guarantees uh, so most databases do not provide strong consistency they provide eventual consistency right so when we want to design a distributed systems we should focus more on handling failures rather than choosing over consistency or availability we have to remember that when we are designing a fault tolerant system and not failure avoiding systems that is impossible in the context of distributed systems which means that when you design a system which is working on multiple nodes you have to assume that failures will happen all the time we cannot avoid the failures we have to tolerate them we should refer to this paper written by eric brewer himself who says that one should think about availability in terms of yield percentage of request answered successfully and harvests percentage of required data that is actually included in the response so eric brewer himself has changed the or enhanced his own uh, initial definition of cap theorem there are various flavors of consistency and various uh, levels of eventual consistency available we should come up with our own framework if you want to analyze a distributed systems rather than overly relying on cap theorem we also need to remember that proving a correctness of a distributed system is different from testing or verifying distributed systems so i hope that up to now you are with me on this and uh, you liked what you listened if that is true then please feel free to subscribe to my newsletter see you in the next one bye for now